Hi all, it's Diva T here. Um, sorry about the shaky camera. Got my little girl here with me. Say hi. Say hi, Mama. Say hi, Mama. Mm. Uh. Um, I wanted to give a little update. Um, for the past two weeks, I have been doing the Curly Girl Method. Reason being because um, after having her, I had some postpartum, postpartum shedding. And um, at first, uh, it was just a little bit of hair, of course. Uh, the first month after I had her, it was just a little bit. And now she's five months, and um, the postpartum shedding has gotten to be like, Wow, really? <laughs> it's more than I expected. We can put it that way. Um, it has been. It has been more than I expected. But um, I think that now that uh, we have reached the five-month mark, that my hair is going to start going back to where it was and start to. Uh, grow back in some of the areas where it got kind of thin, like around the temples and stuff. You could see, um, probably can't tell as well as I can, um, especially in this kind of light, but where my hair is kind of thin right here in this spot right here. And I don't think it was like that before. Um, on the other side, it's harder to see. Um, and then other than that, just all over my head when I wash my hair. The past three or four washes, the hair has increased. And um, look, mommy, look, look. You do a video. Okay, she's probably not gonna let me finish. Um, uh, but to sum it up, um, that's why I have started to do the curly girl method because I wanted to do something that was um, going to nurture my hair and not be um, too harsh on my hair. So I'm just doing the wash and goes. I'm using the Tresemme mm -hmm. Naturals, although I think my hair is reacting well to it, but my scalp, I don't, I'm not sure about because uh, when I use it, my scalp itches and I know when you use conditioner, you're really supposed to put on your ends and work your way to the scalp area, but not get the conditioner on your scalp. And that's something that I kind of remembered, something I had forgotten about for a long time. So that might be why, excuse me, why I'm having some itching going on on my scalp because the conditioner is kind of caking up on my scalp. So. I've been scratching and scratching and scratching the scalp, but I have the build up from the conditioner under my fingernails. And I'm pretty sure it's because conditioner isn't meant to be on your scalp, I think. <laughs> it's just like the shampoo, when you shampoo your hair, it's only meant to be supposed to be on your um on your scalp. And you're not necessarily supposed to shampoo your entire head of hair <laughs> at once. But um I think I'm revisiting that and my plan is to still um, use the Tresemme, try it again, and um, like I said, I've been doing it for about two and a half, it's been about two and a half weeks now, probably, um, continue to do the Curly Girl Method and get the, use the Tresemme on the ends of my hair mostly and concentrate on the ends and the middle parts of my hair and not so much the scalp. And as far as my scalp, though, I want to um, incorporate my castor oil more on a regular basis. Um, I have a little squeeze bottle with a nozzle on it. I'm going to try to use that to uh, concentrate the castor oil on my scalp. It's just so, my, so my scalp is moisturized. My whole idea of putting the conditioner on my scalp was so I could moisturize it. And then I thought, wait a minute. That's not what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to put the condition on my hair, the oil on my scalp. But, um, so I'm gonna end this video now. But, um, that's what's going on that's new with me. And 
gonna miss mama right here. Say hey mama. Say hey mama. Say hey look, 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 look. Hold your face up. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Come get you. <laughs> okay, guys. See you later. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye.